my name is Yava and this is Bondas. And in this video, I want to share with you two parts. So first is my pull-up progression, how from zero pull-ups I did nine and a half pull-ups. And then part two of this video is the exercises I used that helped me to achieve my first pull-ups. And hopefully those exercises will help you to achieve your first pull-ups as well. On this day, I did my first ever pull-up, which I was super, super proud of. Then, after several months, I managed to do almost two pull-ups. After climbing session, I managed to do three very strangely looking pull-ups, which made me super excited and stoked and motivated and inspired to continue and to improve and to get better with my pull-ups. So for a few upcoming months, I was doing three pull-ups and three pull-ups and three pull-ups and I couldn't do more. I spent almost one month rock climbing in Surana in Catalonia and after my climbing trip, I managed to do my personal record at the time, which was seven pull-ups and actually maybe almost seven and a half. Unfortunately, I injured my shoulder and with no proper training for 10 weeks, I struggled to do even two pull-ups. I slowly started to train and climb again. And then in April, I did almost two or three pull-ups. I slowly started to regain my strength back and could do around six pull-ups again on a good training day. In August, I introduced some weights to my pull-ups to experiment with my pull-up journey. At first, I thought that I did 10 pull-ups. I even said that on my Instagram post. But now when I look back at this video, I think that it's more likely that I did nine and a half pull-ups, even though I'm still super proud of me, because as I mentioned in the beginning, pull-ups felt absolutely impossible for me. I think one of the most important things is that I was already climbing for almost one year and climbing definitely helped me to build my upper body strength. But still, even though I was climbing, I still couldn't do a pull up. These other few exercises really helped me to accelerate and to build my first few pull ups. For scapular pull-ups, keep your arms straight and draw your scapula down and slightly together. As a result, your body rises up without bending your arms. Hold the top position and then go back to simply hanging position and then repeat the same process again. You can use a chair or anything else to support yourself to top pull-up position. Bring your chin above the bar and then as slowly as you can, lower yourself down. Try to keep your arms and back muscles engaged. For active dead hangs, keep your arms straight and simply hang from a bar. Shoulders are depressed down and away from your ears. Try to hang like that in this active dead hang position as long as you can. Rest and then try to do the hanging again. You can use TRX band, rings or a pull-up bar. Keep your whole body engaged and slowly pull yourself up towards the bar and lower yourself down. So even if you can do only one pull-up, try to do that one pull-up as often as you can. Of course, don't forget rest days and to most importantly, be kind to yourself and to your body. Even though I'm not a pull-up pro and of course there are so many things that I still need to improve in my pull-up journey, I simply want to share with you this idea of showing up, of commitment, of doing something as often as you can 
And then even though it feels that you're not moving forward, eventually you will see that you are moving forward. So my current goal is to do a ring muscle up. I started to do false grip pull-ups and at the moment the ring muscle up fell, feels again absolutely impossible. It feels that my wrists are going to break, that I can't do a very deep uh, ring dip. But again, I'm just focusing one step at a time and we will see um, where the effort, time and dedication brings me. So if you want to see a future video of how I do a ring muscle up, subscribe.